What is going on, Geeks Unite the Clans here, back in yo life with another brand new series. This is the Rusty Lake Hotel. It is a macabre, creepy, point and click adventure game. Um, you guys might remember this. I played one of the Rusty Lake escape games in the past. I think it was The Mill. Uh, and that video did fairly well for me. I've been meaning to go back and play another of their free games for a long time. But since I put out my original Let's Play of the, the mill or the windmill, whatever they call it, they have come out with this, the Rusty Lake Hotel, a game named after the creators, the studio that, that makes all these great point and click adventure games. And with them having given away so many awesome games for free in the past, I figured I would pick this one up. It only cost me, I don't know, less than two bucks. It was like a buck 20 and I'm excited to play. Now this guys is a point and click mystery game with puzzles to solve. And I will say, apparently, quite a bit of gory cartoon violence. So if you're the squeamish type, if you're quite young, skip this Let's Play, go watch something else. But we're going to get into it right now. Rusty Lake, 1893. Good afternoon. Let me introduce myself. My name is Mr. Owl. Hi, Mr. Owl. I am the owner of the Rusty Lake Hotel. Oh, look. The guests are arriving. They all have their own reasons to be here. Wow. And I, I have my own reasons to let them stay. We will be having five dinners. Five dinners. Make sure everyone is worth dying for. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be a wonderful week. Hell yes. Let's make some memories. Let's make some memories. Oh, yeah. The lobby. All right, guys. Now, I am not a genius when it comes to games of this type. Uh, I will do my best to solve them, but if I need a walkthrough, I'll certainly go get one. What's in the kitchen? Hello, sir. Mr. Toad, hi there. I have heard the guests have arrived. I need you to get fresh ingredients by tomorrow. You can see the recipes in the menu. Let's click on this little menu. So, recipes. Deer steak with mushrooms and rosemary. One of our guests was a deer, so that'll be interesting. Gotta track down some mushrooms, some rosemary, and apparently... Some deer meat. All right, thanks, pal. Uh, how do we get back from here? Go down. Cool. So back into the lobby. Uh, this might be a bit slower. Uh, I don't imagine this will be completely action-packed. We're going to have our hands full exploring what this game's all about. Hello, sir. Mr. Crow. Welcome the guests to our hotel. Serve them the local delicacy. Shrimp cocktail? Nice. Shrimp cocktail. Hello? Nope. Alright, put that phone away. That's annoying. Alright. Is this rosemary? This tree? This plant? Not full of rosemary. What about that plant? Nothing. What about the chandelier? Nothing. You gotta click on things to figure it out. Okay, so there's the elevator. And here's something. Rusty Lake... They're badges that require keys. Okay, yeah, we're going to need the five keys. Rosemary? Are you Rosemary? What about this painting? Hello, sir. That's Mr. Owl, I suppose. Uh, the owner of this hotel. And here are our guests. Hello, Mr. Boar. Enjoy a shrimp cocktail. Blurp. Well, I guess that's it for him. Uh, oh, hello, Mrs. What are you? A pheasant. Are you ready for my photo shoot? There you go. I'll take this. No, I won't. This smells a bit fishy. <laughs> All right. And Mr. Deer, my first meal seems to involve you, sir. Thank you. But I am more of a meat person. Yes, completely made of delicious meat. Enjoy it. Okay, let's go find the other couple of guests. What was there? There was a bunny. I know that. Oh, and a pigeon. Cool. Mr. Bunny. Rabbit. Funny looking food. That's it. Okay, cool. And Mrs. Pigeon drinking a lovely glass of Pinot Grigio. Replace it with this shrimp cocktail. I'm looking forward to our first dinner tomorrow. I bet you are. Now it is time to go to my room. The night falls and the guests go to the room. All right. Ooh, this is intense music. Click to continue. The lobby. 
Okay, what's going on, Mr. Crow? Give me the skinny. Hello. Hello. Mr. Owl? Have a look at my portrait. Have a look at my portrait. Okay, whatever that means. Which was this way, correct? Yes. Aha! <laughs> Cha-ching! Now we just gotta find ourselves some mother effing rosemary. And this thing will be as good as solved. What's your deal? That's it. Okay. Call the elevator. I'm thinking we have to go see the guests in their rooms. That would be... Oh, hello. No dinner at nighttime. Okay, fair enough. Back to the lobby. Jeez. What's this thing? Some sort of cushion? I don't know. All right. I say kitchen. Hi there. I've heard the... Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll get the ingredients. Peace out, Mr. Toad, you annoying little bastard. Back into the lobby, we'll hit this elevator. I was right all along. I just want to make sure I wasn't leaving anything behind. See you later, bellhop kitty. Oh. Zero, negative one, one. Well, let's see who is inside this hallway. Room one. Yes, Mr. Deer, this is exactly the room I'd like to head to. Hello, sir. Speak with me. Bring me a Bloody Mary. Okay. All right, we got a thing. Wodka. Oh, that's perfect. In Canada, where I'm from, the Bloody Mary is an inferior drink. We don't even like it. We have something called a Caesar, which instead of being made with... That's weird. Oh, there's a key with straight tomato juice. It's made with clamato juice, which is a clam tomato juice. I know this is making it sound much worse. Hey, that's one of the red things. Yes, this is Mr. Deer's room. His research plan. Hotel height? Walls? What is in the lake? Is there a way? Uh, I don't know. Water? Anywhere? I don't know what he's saying. Mr. Deer's talking nonsense, and this plan doesn't seem to be of any value, so we'll, we'll look away from it, and we'll have a look, I guess, at this, maybe? A Bloody Mary. So you need blood, vodka, Tabasco, and special ingredient. Vodka. Oh, wait. There we go! Empty canteen. The vodka is now in there. So now we get blood. Do I just click him? No, bring me a Bloody Mary. Okay, we need to find a way to achieve some, to a, a, get some blood. All right, we got this up here. This is butterflies, it looks like, or moths, maybe. And this, which is a sort of Bunsen burner distillery thing. Maybe you have to make some more alcohol. And this is locked. Use the key on it. And it's just a bunch of empty containers. Six, eight, ten with eight. Does that mean I need to get empty canteen? Okay, that's not gonna work. I need to get eight units into this one. And none of these, okay, this will be a little math problem. I'm, I'm on this. And speaking of math problems, what do we got here? So we got, that's a four. Ooh, that's not quite right. Here, let's try and keep it simple. What looks the same size? These two do. Yeah, okay, so the plus is a one. So if I go plus and this and this, we dead even? Okay, so that's a five. And that's a three. I, I keep figuring if I get this level, something's gonna happen, but maybe not. Maybe you have to, maybe it's a code. Uh, no, more butterflies. Weird. Moths. I guess those are definitely moths. Okay, we got a bucket. You cannot leave the room until you have found some meat, of course. That looks like a meat grinder up there. Okay, oh. Okay. Cool. Uh, hello. Open up. Open up. 
Give me a thing. Yes, matches, which is probably for that Bunsen burner thing. But I can't imagine we'll be lighting it before we've got something to put into it. Ah, yes. Oh, shoot. Three. One. And is this the four? This might be four. No, okay, we have to go back. What's the swirly thing? I think the triangle was three. I know the plus was one. So here, this is the puzzle we were looking at. Swirly thing is a five, okay. Yeah, okay, we all over this. We're on fire right now. I'm flying through, oh, that's not the thing I need. I know this is gonna stump me. These things always require walkthroughs, but three. Yeah, unless you have some incredible brain power, which I, I'm not sure I do. That was a good sound. Oh, hell yes. Now I know where to get the blood for my Bloody Mary. Anything to go on with this plant? Where am I going to find some damn rosemary? Hey. Uh-oh. Bye. Shoot. Oh, it's back. Bucket? Yes, this is for the water puzzle, or for the, the, the bottles puzzle. Bucket with water. Now let's see if I can do anything with that moth. You're back. This. Yes. Okay, that's another thing. It's a butterfly, not a moth. Get your stuff together. Okay, so I don't know what uh, the butterfly, there's this thing. You don't represent any of these, do you? Nope. But there were the other butterflies right here, which are like live specimens. Or, okay. Oh, it's got a different position. Okay. Spiky wings, down wings, wide wings. I got a lot on the go right now. I got to figure out one of these puzzles at a time. So, wide, down, spiky, spiky, wide, wide. We'll see if this is a thing. Okay, ready? Wide, down, spiky, spiky, wide, wide. <gasps> Ew. Disgusting. A seed. A seed. Nope. Okay. So we got the bucket of water, we got the puzzle, we got the knife to get blood with. Let's attempt to get blood from this fool. Bring me a bloody mare. Oh, I was going for the neck, but uh, I guess we went with the antler. Give me this. Blood. Oh, we are on fire. We got two of the five, two of the four ingredients. One of them being secret and might involve this seed. Blood. Yes, we almost done. So blood, vodka, Tabasco. Tabasco, was that come from a seed? It's weird to have a deer thing. Whoa, weird. Give me an antler. Weird. Weird. This is all very weird. This game is so strange. What are you, Rosemary? Tell me you're Rosemary. Recipes. Yes! Okay. You get rosemary from this. Ugh! Tabasco. That is so creepy. Oh, we're on fire. This is going to be a short video. UTC nail in this first one. So we added some Tabasco to our Bloody Mary, this, the American version of the Canadian Caesar. And... Um, bucket of water to this? No, maybe I need a very specific amount. What about you? Nope. Bucket of water into you? Nope. That's fine. So let's mess around with the bucket of water here. So we got enough water. So we need eight. So that means a four... 
and a four, which I can get by going, okay, so put five in here. Oh, that didn't go as I planned. I guess you just gotta put the water in where it goes, okay. So we have five and six ounces. And I need to get to eight. So if I dump you in here, that fits perfectly. I dump you in there, that's six, so that makes you five. So that makes you six and you five, which means I need another three. So how do I subdivide this? Shoot, okay. Add you to there. So there's an ounce left. <laughs> okay, guys, give me a damn second to figure this out. All right, I might have a grasp on it. So we have 11 total ounces. This container holds six, this five, this, this 10. So by transferring them back and forth, I should be able to get amounts of three and four if I play it right. Uh, so you into here, and then I'm gonna have to either put you in here or you in here. You can't go in here. So you must go in here. So now we got four, one, six. So if I put four, five, two. So we have a four and a two. If I add a two to that, that becomes six, but then I have five ounces. I can't do anything with it. This one must have to go in here, which would bring that to nine. This one's lacking four ounces, which would leave me with five in here. No, I think I go like this, because then I have six empty, and I can go, I can be three, two, six, three, two, and six. Okay. Then, God, see, this is where you make a mistake. If I add this to that, it's going to be five, and that's exactly what goes back in this jar. I think this has to go here. So now I have a three, a three, and a five, and I need eight. Is that it? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. And this I leave, this I leave. Okay, so you need eight, and I'm guessing you need it specifically for this. So where in my inventory is this? Go in here. Nope. Go in here. There. Okay, now matches. Light the flame. This is not what I had in mind. I have this seed, but there is this thing over here, which might also need to be watered. It's like a little plant. Where was that little plant thing? Right here. Put the seed in there. Well, that's not it. Okay. Bucket with water. Okay. Now what? <laughs> well. Oh. What is that? Poisonous seeds. And we have this thing that I tried to crunch the last seed in. I wonder if it goes in there. Is this where I got this from? Right. I believe we have now solved the puzzles. What is left? Got that one. I think I got all this. I think this might be my secret ingredient. Add. Oh, no, wait. I probably don't want to add that. I probably want to because it's a secret ingredient. It must involve this. Right? And that looks like this jar. Do it. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm on fire. What do we got now? Poison. Sick, nasty. Guys, we might have solved the first room in the Rusty Lake Hotel. Get added. There's your secret freaking ingredient. Take this. Ooh, come on. Come on, dude. I'm about to get some serious deer meat. 
Enjoy. This is what I mean about cartoon violence. This poor bastard just drank a poison Bloody Mary. Drink again. Oh, I might have messed this up. Why isn't something happening? Uh. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he's foaming at the mouth. Bad things are happening. Uh. What's going on? Die. Oh, there you go. Cha-ching! Deer steak with mushrooms and rosemary. I told you this game had a macabre sense of humor. I knew we'd be murdering guests the moment you said, make sure every meal is worth or is to die for. A new dawn. Guys, I think I'll tackle the next room in episode two of the Rusty Lake Hotel, which means there's probably going to be at least five episodes and five rooms. We're back in the lobby. Is that the end of the day? Or do we get to serve dinner now? I have to prepare the dinner first. Okay, well, let's have a quick check with old Mr. Frog. How's it going, Pidge? I need you to run my bath tonight. Okay. You got anything for me? Do you believe in magic? Come see me tonight. Oh. Oh, yeah. Sound off in the comments, freaks. Who do you want to see next? Run a bath for the pigeon. Watch the rabbit do magic. Are you ready for my photo shoot? Oh, yes. She's going to get sexy. And we're going to take some pictures. I'm so hungry. Okay, well, all he wants is food. He is a pig, after all. Uh, have a look over here. Uh, is this thing look any different? No, I have yet to accomplish that. Let's go talk to Mr. Toad. You got what you need? Hell yes! That doesn't look like enough for five people. Oh! Listen! We got a improv jazz band. What do they think? <laughs> Bravo! Excellent work! Perfect dinner! Oh, because I got mushrooms, deer meat, and rosemary. Ka-ching! The night falls and the guests go to the rooms. Cool. Guys, in episode two of my visit to the mysterious and creepy Rusty Lake Hotel, I will visit the room of the guests that somebody mentions in the comments. And if you don't mention any, I'll just pick. But that's going to do it for this one. I'm Unite the Clans. Thank you for watching my playthrough of this amazing game. It's two bucks, and if you guys go check out Rusty Lake Games, they have a ton of games for free if you like the look at this one. And I'll probably give you a card linking you to an old Let's Play I did of one of their uh, escape games. That's going to do it for this one, and I will see you all in episode two of the Rusty Lake Hotel. What do you get in there? Nothing? What is that? Nothing? What's in here? Pan with water. Well, this seems pretty straightforward. Oh, there we go. Okay. We now have a pan with hot water. What does that do?